looks like we have visitors. Let's hope they come in peace. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Designer Slash Gamer. And today we are playing Disney Infinity 3.0. Sorry it's been a little while since I uploaded a video of this game. I was crazy busy making Christmas videos for LEGO Worlds, but I am back to this game. And we've got some great pointers from you guys from the last video, so please keep making suggestions and comments on the series if you have some great tips. And I will, I wrote a lot of them down and I'll try to remember them, but don't be, uh, don't be afraid to remind me if you see me doing something wrong. Okay, so we've got Chewie back, um, and we have our trusty sidekick, Fix It Felix. Now, I think there are more of the tutorial sidekick levels to complete, but I got a little bit bored with them. <laughs> so we're gonna skip those for now. Maybe we'll come back to them later. But the thing we do need to do though, is we need to level up Chewy because the game just told us to visit the uh, level up kiosk. And apparently we can level up Chewy, but I lost the kiosk. Where's that kiosk? Is that it? <gasps> there it is. Okay, so let's see. Press E while standing near the skill. It's called a skill kiosk to use it. Okay. Select a skill tree tab. Each of the other tabs along the top of the skill tree contain a specific category of related skills that can be purchased or upgraded. Okay. Uh, I guess we're supposed to click here. Are you sure you want to purchase this skill? No. I don't know what skill it is. Oh, health boost. Is that our skill? Increase Chewbacca's maximum health. Uh, I think that is probably a good thing to purchase, so we're going to say yes. Okay, so we own it. Do we have any left? Uh, what's this one? Team player, decrease the amount of time it takes to revive another character. Ooh, that's a good one, you guys. What's this one? Mid-air recovery allows the character to recover in mid-air by tapping. That's kind of neat. Uh, let's buy this one. Are you sure you want to purchase it? Yes. Yay! Let's do... Ooh, what's this one? Blocks an incoming close range attack and repels the attacker when timed correctly. <gasps> Blocks an incoming close range attack and repels the attacker. You guys, that's kind of neat. Although Chewie does have... A gun, it's like a long range. Mm. Well, the character recur I kinda this you guys, I think this one's pretty good. Let's get this one. Yes. Okay, I think we are out of wait, yeah. <gasps> Yay! You guys we have so many skills. Great. Chewy. Okay. Now, if only if we can. If you can't find a skill kiosk, you can still access the skill tree at any time through the pause menu. Oh. <laughs> Yay, Chewy! <laughs> so Chewy is much better. If we can just remember how to use that stuff. Okay. So pressing Control makes Chewy block. <laughs> Welcome to the Toy Store. Here you can purchase toys, buildings, weapons, customizations, and everything else to be found in Disney Infinity. Each item you buy will immediately become available in your toy box. Great. Uh, world construction toys, set pieces and building sets, horseplay toys, advanced toys, interior toys, toy box themes, terrain. There's a lot of stuff in here, you guys. So we need sparks for all this stuff, and we're going to need a lot more sparks <laughs> to get any of this stuff. This is cool though, there are a lot of a lot of cool options, so when we start building, it's going to be really fun. Okay, let's get out of here. And then let's check this out. This is like uh, some kind of interior tutorial. This cottage is so cute. Okay, how do we go in here? Enter interior, yes. Oh. 
This is cool, you guys. Welcome to your interior home, a customizable living space that you can organize and decorate in any way you see fit. You're just in time to supervise the final stages of the renovation process. Great. <laughs> it looks like there's already something you can help with. Well, that about does it. All we need to do now is find the right paint. Search these boxes for the paint capsule. The paint capsule. Okay. Break the crates to find the paint. Yeah, we get to break stuff. All right, Chewy, break it. <laughs> I love that sound he makes. Okay, let's try. This looks like paint to me right here. Just, you know, the paint buckets kind of give it away. Oh. All right, let's try this one. Does that mean we're finding paint? I don't know. Yay! Should we try this one too? Bust it. I think we got some paint. You found it. <laughs> so you guys, I just saw the new Star Wars movie. Okay, just one more coat of paint and we're done. Use your magic wand to apply any style you'd like. Use the magic wand to change the look of the walls, the trim, or the floors to make your interior feel like home. Open the packs and tools menu to select the magic wand. Chewy, I didn't know we had a magic wand. Aim the magic wand at the walls to select them for customization. Oh, I see. Okay, you press shift to hold it and then you click the wall. Then select the customization you want to apply. You guys, this is so much fun. <laughs> oh, what do we want to do? Maybe these clouds? What do you guys think? Should we try this? Do we this? Oh my guys, it's like, this is from Toy Story. Weren't these the clouds from Toy Story? I think they are. Okay, so let's escape. Good choice. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> that looks much better. Yeah, it does. Decorate and customize your interior to be whatever inspires your imagination. What? Create themed rooms or mix things up. It's all up to you. <laughs> Good job, Chewy. <laughs> Oh, you guys, look at the ceiling. I totally had a star ceiling when I was a kid. Those glow-in-the-dark stars you stick on the ceiling? This is your butler. Hey, His butler. only goal is to help you create the perfect interior. Talk to your butler anytime you need help adding furniture or rooms to your interior. Oh. If you're already familiar with the workings of the interior, feel free to begin customizing and decorating. If you need help adding rooms or decorating your interior, talk to the butler. Okay, well I'm glad we have a butler. That's pretty cool. Look at the, is that Scrooge McDuck? It looks like Scrooge McDuck. Uh, should we talk to the butler? Wait, is he our butler? Oh no, this is our butler. Okay, let's talk to him. Maybe we put away the magic wand. Uh, oh, Remember Sorry. to talk to your guests. They may have useful information and hints for you. Okay. Well, let's talk to, don't shoot him, Chewy. Talk to the butler. Tell me about building, tell me about construction. Oh, okay, so he'll tell you how to build. All right, well, we don't need to bother with that right now. So let's go talk to Kermit the Frog. Hey, Kermie. What's up, buddy? This is the guest gatherer. Once it's been selected from the toy box editor and placed in your interior, guests will feel welcome to enter and explore. If you remove the guest gatherer, your guests will leave. Okay, the guest gatherer. All right, great. Is he a new sidekick? <laughs> Kermit. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I was saying, um, is that Darkwing Duck? Oh my God. <laughs> so these are all guests running around the house? This is great. Um, yeah, so I just saw the new Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi, and oh, you guys, it was incredible, incredible. Like there was comedy and great, um, great special effects, great story. I was really, really If you're interested, with that. your butler can help you buy additional decorations and customizations. He can? What? Right, let's talk to him again. Tell me about buildings. How do I add rooms? How do I place decorations on the floor? How do I place decorations? Let's find that out. That sounds. Some objects can only be placed on the floor. Would you like me to show you? Yeah, sure. Some furniture pieces are meant to be placed on the floor. Use the toy box editor to add furniture. Tab to open the Return editor. to your interior frequently to see and use what you've unlocked since your last visit. Oh, <laughs> cool, you guys. And look at all these great guests that we have. Okay, so we have a lamp. 
We place the lamp somewhere? Place the furniture you've selected. All right. Maybe we'll place it right there? You can move and rotate any piece of furniture. Okay. So do you place by pressing enter? Exit the toy box editor when you're done. Okay. Nice work. Well, your interior's you. really coming along. There are hundreds it, it, of though? furniture pieces that can be placed in your interior to give it your own unique style and make it feel more like home. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh. Good job, Chewy. Oh, is that Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well why don't we walk around the house a little bit and check it out. This is to find neat. out what you can do in your interior or how to do it, just talk to your butler. After all, that's why he's here. Okay. Hey, Tinkerbell. Can we talk to Tinkerbell? Or is she a sidekick? Oh, no. Should we put Tinkerbell down? That's rude. Control. <laughs> okay. Guys, this house is so neat. Hey, Kermy. Oh, hey, buddy. Who's this? Is this a construction dude? It looks like you've gotten your you've got yourself a sidekick. You should add a room to your home that your sidekick can decorate. Your sidekick can decorate? Oh, how do I do that? Okay. <gasps> sidekick suite! How do we get that? It's in our toy box? Okay. Um, I think they said toy box. You can get toy box by pressing tab? No, that's the... Toy box by pressing escape. There we go. Toy store. Is that the same as toy box? Mm -hmm. Interior toys? Rooms? Alright, where's the sidekick suite? Oh, there it is. And we've already purchased it. You guys, is that Scrooge McDuck's money bin? <sighs> DuckTales was one of my favorite cartoons growing up, and Scrooge McDuck was so, was so cool. Okay, uh, so okay, so then we already have the sidekick suite, so maybe we place it. We need to ask our butler though how we uh, out of room. Let's go down here and ask the butler. Where'd he go? Butler, where'd you go, buddy? He's down here somewhere. There he is. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about customization. No, see, tell me about building. How do I place. How do I add rooms? Would you like to expand your interior? I can show you how to add rooms. Yes, we will. You can also add new rooms to your interior. When you add a room, be sure to connect it to a doorway so you can get in and out. To add a room, open the toy box editor. Okay, so tab. Oh. Hold. Some Left. guests have special requests. If you can help them, they'll reward you. Wow, okay. Um, is this the... Okay, so we have a room up here, but is it the Exit side the toy box editor when you're done. Okay, so we found the sidekick suite and we placed the wrong bedroom. So maybe we'll make the bedroom upstairs Chewie's bedroom and this will be uh, Fix-It Felix's bedroom. So maybe we'll put it right here. Do we have to rotate it? I think we have to rotate it. Uh, let's see. There we go. Let's see, where's the door? The door is there. Okay. So can we line that up? There we go. Enter. That's our sidekick suite. Okay. Let's get out of here and let's show. Your sidekicks can be given their very own rooms in your interior. Throw one into this door to assign it to this room. <laughs> that sidekick will then decorate its room according to its own tastes. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay, uh, let's pick up uh, our sidekick, Fix It Felix, and let's throw him through the door. Sidekick discotheque? What? <laughs> okay. There we go. Did he go through the door? Whoops. Sorry, Felix. I don't think we got you through the door. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, throw with the right mouse button. There we go. There he goes. When did we get to see what he decorated? Can we go in there? Oh, he's back. He decorated it. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Fix it, Felix. You want a shrine to Sleeping Beauty? <laughs> so he's got the Sleeping Beauty, uh... What is this? The Sleeping Beauty uh, stained glass window. He's got a uh, pinball <gasps> game. <laughs> He's got a bed with a flower ca or a leaf canopy. You guys, Felix has got pretty good, interesting taste. <laughs> He's got a piano with uh, rabbits on it. <laughs> and look at this little kitchen. <laughs> oh. Why is there an outline on the floor? Okay. <laughs> we have a lot of house guests, you guys. All right, so this is pretty cool. We got a pretty good little start on our house. So uh, why don't we get out of here and see what else we can do in this episode? Return to Toy Box Hub. Okay. We actually need to fix Chewie's health, but I can't remember how to do that. I think you have to go to a sidekick station. Yay, Chewie! Guys, we have 1,300 glimmer now. We'll, we'll be able to buy stuff pretty soon. Oh, well, hey, Mickey. <laughs> What's this up with you? This is the Toy Box Welcome Host, and he's opened the Toy Box for you. If you'd like to create and explore your very own worlds, just follow him into the Toy Box portal. Are we ready for that yet, you guys? Um, Chewie, I don't know. I don't know if you're ready for that just yet. I think we need to learn a little bit more about the game before we start creating worlds, but we're excited to do that. The blue sparks you collect can be used to purchase toys from the toy store. <laughs> Is that Mater from uh, Cars? <laughs> Looks like him. What is you this? You found a gift. It contains a surprise toy box toy from the toy store that what? is yours to keep. You found a gift? So are these... <laughs> what are these guys doing? Oh, you guys, more sparks. Woohoo! Ooh, there's more over here. So it does look like Chewie's health is improving slowly. So that's good. Oh, there's more sparks out here. Let's get these. We're gonna have lots of money to buy stuff. So if you guys have any tips uh, for building or stuff you wanna see in this game. Nice job collecting sparks. Please go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you wanna see, what I should do. It's a really fun game, but I feel like uh, there's a lot to do, and it's a little bit overwhelming, like knowing what to do, what to do when. But Chewie's having a great time, and so is Felix. Fix it, Felix. <gasps> okay, well, oh look, there's more sparks. Okay, let's get these. We're gonna grab a few more sparks, and then we are going to call that an episode. And then let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see in the next episode. Uh, what you think we should do? Should we customize the house some more? Should we, uh... A spark capsule! Those will give you tons of sparks! What? What? Oh my gosh, we almost didn't pick those up! Oh, yeah! Did we get them all? We did. Spark capsule, I didn't know that was a thing. And more sparks! Ooh, it's the edge of the world. Oh, look at all these! Yeah! All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode and you want to see more of this game, then please leave a like and leave a comment in the comment sections uh, for what you guys want to see next. And if you have suggestions, ideas, game tips, uh, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.